YouTube, Houston here. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always, devil salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to talk about the credit unions that don't pull check systems. And the reason we're talking about this is because about 80 to 90 percent of credit unions they actually use check systems and so i'm going to show you some of the easier credit unions to join as well as break down what's actually in your check system file and why you should because of what the things because of some of the things that the banks actually do that you're not aware of okay so what's on your check systems file okay you have unsatisfied balances so what that means is that you may have uh, closed out your checking account and you didn't know that there was a check that came through and you may have owed them a dollar and some change or something like that. And because you never paid that dollar and some change, they'll send it over to check systems. Um, you may have uh, some overdraft checks. You may have deposited some fraud, fraudulent checks. Now, in terms of somebody, you may have done some work with some, for somebody and they gave you a check and it was fraud and you deposited. Or it may have been that um, you get these checks in the mail saying, hey, we are giving you a $25,000 check, right? Uh, you need to contact us. But you don't contact them. You just deposit the check. Now, because you deposit a check, they never the company never actually approved you for the twenty five thousand, right? But even though your name is on the check and the company's name on the check, now this actually did happen. A guy he had received one of his checks. He went to the bank, deposited. After uh, I think it was seven days, the check cleared, and the money ended up being here. His he could not they could not take it back, even though the company did not uh, clear the check. It was because the banks didn't catch it. So he ended up keeping the money. So you just have to be very careful in terms of like with these companies, they're sending you these checks and everything. Uh, but it does state that you need to contact us to be approved, right? Um, the number of inquiries that's on your credit file that can be in your check systems, the amount of checks you order, um, the security freezes that's in your check system suspicious account activity now that's where you may have um maybe depositing like quite frequently a lot a lot of uh, small amounts or large amounts of money and stuff like that so when you do that and especially when it's cash and stuff like that that's suspicious activity and financial institution they'll close your account Right. Even though you didn't do anything wrong, you just deposited the money you have. You could have been working a food truck. You could have been a person that does a co professional casino gambler or anything. Right. And um, like I said, because of that suspicious activity, they report that the check system and stuff. Sometimes they close down your account. Now, again, you do have a check system scoring goes from 100 to 899 and the higher the score the lower the risk is with the bank the way the banks look at you the lower your risk to them okay so just keep that in mind now let's talk about some of these credit unions you have navy federal uh credit union um i always say if you have bad credit with bad credit and you're joining navy federal you want to get the end rewards because 200 turns into a couple thousand dollar unsecured card after six months uh you should get a pledge loan let's talk about some of these actual data points now navy federal internal scoring goes from 100 to 450 right and the data points to help you get the highest internal score so that you get more uh funding through navy federal is your deposits, pledge loan accounts, flagship checking accounts, money market accounts, savings accounts, CDs. Now, here's the thing about it. I have a witness, uh, clients with a 550 score join Navy Federal, and they open up a savings account, money market account, a flagship account, and Navy Federal gave them a $7,500 credit card, unsecured credit card. Right off the bat, even with a 555 uh, credit score, brand new.
So that's not impossible with Navy Federal. If they see that you're doing good business with them, they are definitely uh, willing to open up the doors for you. Also, making sure, I always tell people, make sure that you do your weekly deposits at least $25 a week uh, into your savings account as well into your checking account if possible, okay? Now, your state department federal credit union uh, don't use check systems as well. So you can join through the American Consumer Council. They don't offer business bank account. Uh, they do offer secured cards. So you help you rebuild your credit. They pull Experian FICO 8. Uh, even if you have a paid off charge offs and collections and discharge bankruptcy, they're still willing to work with you. Now, Southwest Financial Credit Union out of Texas, I don't have a lot of data points on them, uh, so I need to make a video, but they do not use uh, check systems. Then you have American First, America, because there's a difference. There's an American First Credit Union, then America First. We're focusing on America First Credit Union, and I'm, I'm going to make a separate video about them because they offer business bank account, and I want to definitely show you all how to leverage their credit cards as well as their business credit cards to get access to more funding okay and they do don't they do not use check systems all right then you have nasa nasa uh is definitely one of those credit unions you possibly want to become a member at uh through the national space society they pull experian fico too now let me um let me uh, digress for a minute about this uh, FICO scoring because a lot of people, they don't know which scoring is which, right? Because you may go to Vantage, excuse me, you may go to Credit Karma and Credit Karma say, hey, you have a good score over here, right? But they're using a Vantage score, all right? Um, so then you try to apply for a credit card and stuff you get denied is because some of your lenders may be using your FICO score. And so there's a difference between your FICO 8, your FICO 2, your FICO 9, the new FICO 10, the 10T. So there's a lot of different FICO scores in itself. And if you want to actually see what your real FICO scores are, and you want to learn how to leverage your uh, real FICO scores, click the link, get your, uh, click the link in the description, get your FICO score, and then schedule a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute consultation because it's going to take about 30 minutes to go over your credit file and we can talk about how you can leverage your different FICO scores in order to get funding we can find out which institutions that actually pull the different FICO scores so you'll know which ones to do business with and ones that don't you shouldn't do business with but NASA credit union is definitely one of those credit unions you want to join and they don't pull um, the FICO score excuse me, they don't pull the check systems. Um, they may use the early EWS, early warning system uh, for some of these uh, credit unions. So that may be an alternative that they may use. And I may have to make a, a separate video so you're aware of that, okay? Now, if you have uh, questions about business credit, personal credit, uh, business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description, schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.